get it going. But um, we were talking a little bit about JFK before. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, there's so many people involved in it. First off, the lie that they told you about this fucking magic bullet. Second off, the lie that they told you about this one lone nut who defected and went to Russia. And back in that day, that was when uh, America was really against communism. So if he defected and went to Russia, do you think he'd have been able to not only come back to the United States but bring a bride? He Good brought point. a Russian bride back to the United States and Good didn't point. even get questioned. Then you have this idea of where the president of the United States, after the shooting, his brain is missing. Mm. They never found it. They don't know where the president's brain's at. Brains at. Oh, I didn't know that. If they knew where the brain was, they could tell where the bullet came from. Mm. Another thing that happened, the pictures of his autopsy. Mm. Well, there's one picture that shows his, the back of his head intact. But there's another picture that shows his head, back of his head blown out. Oh. You know ballistics. Yeah. If the back's blown out, where the bullet come from? Front. They say he was shot from the back on the sixth floor depository building in the back of the head. Where should the wound be? Yep. Yep. But it wasn't. So how's his face intact? Also, it is proven that the wound in his throat was an entry wound. Mm -hmm. they, they performed a tracheotomy. By the next time. Yeah. Now they then changed it in the Warren report and said that it was an exit wound to fit the shot from the back. Yep. But the biggest thing is a lot of people don't know this, and y'all can check everything that I'm saying. Yep. When JFK was president, Israel did not have nuclear weapons. They were asking to do nuclear testing, and they said they were only going to do it for energy purposes. Three weeks before he was killed, JFK was sending in inspectors to be able to check and see what they were doing. JFK also created something called greenbacks. Look it up. You know what the greenbacks was? What's that? They were the dollars we were going to start spending, which were not backed by the Fed, but they were they were going to be backed by gold. He was going to put us back on the gold standard. Standard, yeah. Those two groups, uh, that one group was going to lose out on two big things. Now, nobody will touch the Fed. No one will ask to touch the Fed because they know what happened? That's why I think the first thing they do when you become president, I think they show you who took this man out and tell you who not to fuck with. You go look at it right after that. They then got nuclear weapons. That small state got nuclear weapons. And now they're the big badass and they're only 13 miles across. But we're yep. going to make sure that everybody else don't get it. Yep. But they got it. Yep. Also, with our money, and again, y'all pointed out almost every one of these major corporations is run by one of them. And this was something that JFK was against. You look at what happened. He was murdered. It was a coup by our own United States government, and it will never be solved because people don't want to know. Most regular people don't want to know because once you know, now an action has to happen. Like, if you know your wife cheated on you, what's next? Yeah. You got to take action. And if you stay, how can bad. you keep complaining? Yep. Mm. Yep, yep. And people are afraid to know that their spouse is cheating, so they'd rather have the question than have the fucking answer. Delusion. Yes. And JFK's murder, they know it. But who the fuck wants to know? Because then what do you do next? Are you going against the government? Are you going to fight them? Nope. You know what scared me the most about it? Trump was supposed to declassify. And we were talking about this before. Mm -hmm. Trump was supposed to declassify this shit upon, uh, during his presidency. And when asked, Trump, you never declassified these documents. And he said, if you saw what I saw, you wouldn't declassify them either. And I was like, wow. And you got to think about it. Everybody involved in this shit is dead now. That's Everybody's what makes it dead. even scarier to me, dude. They're dead. There's no reason. You can't tell me we don't know what well, we should be able to say this. And again, the person... <sighs> the only person I think that's alive to this day was a Secret Service agent that jumped on the back of the Clint fucking... Hill. Uh, yeah, Clint Hill. Mm -hmm. I think he's the only person that's still alive that can even talk about this shit from that day. And Clint Hill sat there and told him there was blood and brains all on the back of the car, including uh, Mrs. Kennedy picked up a chunk of his brain. Yes, Do did. you know that after the shooting, within 35 minutes of the shooting, they started to clean up the car? Oh, I didn't clean know Clean up that. the blood and everything. Then they sent the car... 
to um DC to Detroit. Probably? They oh, sent it, Detroit. Well, well, they first sent it to Bethesda. Then they sent it to Detroit to have it completely restored. There's evidence in this son of a bitch. Why would you wow. do this? There's also evidence. And that it's they, there to this day, isn't it? Well, yeah, in Detroit they, yeah, the Museum it's up there now, but they, you know, they refurbished it. Yeah. Uh, there's so many holes in the story. E everything about this is wrong, and yet there's and too many wanna, questions. And if you want to know a worse one than that, his brother, Robert Kennedy, his murder was worse. It was more blatant that he didn't do it. Uh, you know who Jack Ruby was, right? Short for Rubenstein. Rubenstein. Involved with the it's Italian and Jewish mafia as well. Was a mobster. It, it, you know, it's just when you and chat. We're just asking questions. Some of you guys may or yeah, may not be aware. Yeah, we haven't said anything. Yeah, we're just, just asking. Questions. Like all these things don't fucking line up, man. Like there's just so many different things in this whole JFK thing. And I again, I think the cherry on top is Trump saying, "If you saw what I saw, you wouldn't declassify it either." What does that mean, Donald? What the fuck does that mean? Everyone is dead from this shit, just like you said. But Lyndon B. Johnson never advertised that he was a Jew. And as soon as he came into office, he did he didn't make DOA, uh, Zionist Organization Organization of America, register under Farah like Kennedy was trying to make him do. He basically told them, "Hey, get out of this this whole nuclear compliance bullshit. Nope, we're stopping it." Yep. Like he basically stopped all the anti-Israeli stuff that Kennedy and RFK were trying to do and before they died. And the Vietnam War, he literally, with a stroke of a pen, the next day while Kennedy was being flown back to Bethesda, oh, yeah. he changed Kennedy's war plan of de-escalation. Yes. Kennedy wanted to end v the, the Vietnam War, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another one. RFK talks about that a lot because yep. they asked him, why, why did they kill your uncle? He never touches the Israeli side, but that's one of them is that he wanted to end the war. Mm -hmm. And he had a lot of enemies with the CIA. He fired Alan Dulles, the, the first CIA director. And then you have Dulles sitting up there, part of the Warren Commission, a man you fired. <laughs> have Bro. a man to, to investigate your death that you fired. Bro. No, you, it, it, you can't make this shit you, up. Yo, th just like look at all these fucking coincidences. Yep. Yeah. It's just again, I'm um we're gonna have Ryan Dawson on to come on for that, bro. And uh if, fuck you should maybe come down. Bro. I would. You should come I, down yeah, when I'm we have him on you, for that. I believe I'm the foremost <laughs> I believe it's me and probably Cyril Wick probably know the most about the Kennedy. I uh every November twenty third, I go to Dallas and every year I make I make like a pilgrimage to me. Really? Yep. Yo, you're really into this shit then. Yep. You know what I've noticed about Kennedy researchers? Like, they, like they, they're just so hell-bent on, like, getting the truth despite the fact that, like, the government's been hiding it. Because, like, this is, I would say, probably the most famous and biggest assassination in, in like, world history, I would say. Well, let me or tell definitely in American history. Well, uh, let me tell you something. The reason why you do it is I... Uh, so you go to the book depository, you do the whole thing. Uh, listen, I'm, when I'm there, it'll be like the dudes will get mad at me, the ones that are telling the, 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 the guests or the visitors what's happening. They'll stop listening to them and come over and talk to me because I know more than they do. Shit. Uh, but it's like, uh, let me bring a little levity here. It's like porn on the internet. Next thing you know, you done went down the rabbit hole and watched a NASA horse fucking somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they know how you got there, but you got there. But that's what happens with JFK researchers. It's scary, but you can't stop. And then when you keep finding things and finding things, like when they did drop the files, when Trump did drop the files he, he dropped, yeah. man, we were there reading them. Yep. I'm going to sit down there and fucking read the Warren Report. Me, I done read it. A nigga to sit there and just read the way <laughs> it's volumes. Oh, dude. But, but you it's a just, fucking big-ass book like this, yeah, man. Yeah, but you, you, when you read it and you see that there were questions they never followed up on, that there were people they never, like, and I'm not a lawyer, but I know common sense. And I would say, well, wait a minute. So they're only talking to people who say what they want them to say, and anybody that says anything different, they actually told the doctors that they had to say that the the uh, wound was not in the back. Yeah. All the doctors kept saying the wound was in the back, and they said it to the day they died. The wound was in the back. Mm. Uh, it, it's so many things that made The Navy them. doctor said that, but the Dallas doctors that saw him originally said that these are wounds from the front. Yeah, the, the 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 Dallas doctors they saw like the head blown out in the back, which yep. means he got shot in the front. Yeah, they changed it, but the 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 guys at they Bethesda, flew the body to DC immediately after. Yeah, and the guys at Beth, uh, Beth, Bethesda Naval they weren't even um, people who had dealt with ballistic ballistic uh, mm -hmm. wounds, so they had Navy 
Navy men telling them how to, uh, oh, there's another one, Ford. Did y'all know that the wounds on Kennedy's back, Gerald Ford, a dumbass when I, our president, he's the one who told them to move the wound, which was documented six inches off of his shoulder blade, which means it couldn't have been shot from the back out of his throat. He literally moved the wound up. And they asked him about it. He's not a uh, pathologist. None of that. He said, oh, I just wanted to make the single bullet theory more plausible. <laughs> he openly said this. Yeah, man. See, uh, yeah, th you're set up on shit that I didn't even know. Uh, hey, guys, uh, uh, don't worry. Um, we're going to have Dawson on probably mid-June. I'm thinking in person. When he comes, bro, you should come. I, I didn't realize I you're, you're into it this much, uh, as, as am I. We're going to do RFK June 7th, guys. So um, and then we're gonna do JFK after because you gotta need to you need to know the RFK arc for the JFK arc to make sense. Um, let's see here. 